Moving on to the second part of the stool. These seat supports are the wide ones. There's not much space between the edge of the seat and the seat support. The legs are gonna go on the inside of these seat supports. And again, we wanna make sure that the angle of the leg matches the angle of the seat support. So getting this into position, I need to note which side is the inside edge. The inside edge of the leg is where I'm going to insert one of the short dowels. By hand, you can push it in. If it's tight, take a scrap piece of wood and a hammer, and you're gonna tap it down until it's flush. And you'll know it's flush because it will make a different sound when it hits the table, and it'll feel like you've put it all the way in. This leg then becomes assembled with the adjacent seat support, rotating it. Angle is the same, repeat for the other side. Get the legs so the leg angle matches the angle of the seats. Note that this is the inside of the leg. Pick it up and on the inside edge, insert your dowel by hand and with a piece of wood. This goes on the inside of the seat support. You can feel that this leg, there's a bit of the dowel sticking out. So I am going to now use the scrap wood to tap it all the way down so that it's flush. It can't be sticking out past the edge of the leg. Now that we have the legs connected to both halves of the stool, we're going to start working with the stool piece that has the legs and the seat support in the narrow position so that there's more wood showing on the outside of the seat here. To begin with, you're going to open up one of the legs so it's at a 90 degree angle approximately. You're going to lay it on its sides putting both a 2x4 and a scrap piece of 1 inch pine underneath to hold it or support it. And then we need to tap in uh, one of the shorter 3.7 centimeter plugs. And we want this to go actually a little bit past the edge of the leg. So unlike the first one where we wanted it flush, this side we want it sticking it out slightly, possibly two to three millimeters past. I'm going to repeat the process to the other side with the remaining dowel. And I didn't mention it the first time, but the dowel is not directly over top of the wood. It's just beside it so that it can go through slightly to the other side. And this one needs to go a little bit further. So it's starting to connect. So again, it is coming just past on the other side, about two to three millimeters on both sides.